Sigaweed. Oh no, you said the Sigaweed word right at the beginning of the video. <laughs> How dare I? Some some guy is gonna be checking this. Like, there's gonna be like a the metadata is gonna be like that's that's not a word, but there's a word in it. Have it manual checked. See what this video is about. Some guy turns in and it's like, oh, God, is these fucking let's players again? <laughs> the fuck is wrong with these guys? Who watches this garbage? Half the time they probably click on like part sixty nine of let's play dick butt. Nice, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Uh, <laughs> just outsourced it to some some forty five year old guy in Poland who's just like, God, I just don't. I do not get paid enough for this. And they're like, we want you to watch the entire video. And there he's like, F it's like 30 minutes long. I'm not watching that. Bunch <laughs> of people I don't know playing a game I don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about stick of weed. Is this the Pokemon champion? Yep. She's an actress. And we... you wait, 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 we've seen her. We've seen her yeah. with Lysander. Once with Lysander, the other time with Sycamore. Uh, both times were very forgettable. Hey, Big League uh, MDB, can you hold my purse while we battle? <laughs> so, I I was just about to say, you know, I like the champion more from Gen 5. I thought he had a good job of having a, a big presence, even though you didn't fight him at the end of the main story, which was kind of funny. I thought that was... You could was fight a, him after the main story. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yep. I thought it was a cool twist and everything, and I thought he had a cool design, but... As I started remembering him, I was about to describe what he looked like, and I realized, you know what, from what little I can describe of how he looks like, I'd basically just be describing Lysander, wouldn't I? Yeah, he's sage Lysander, basically. It's strange. Okay, uh, Halucha is fighting and flying? Yep. Should I switch, or should I brute force? Brute force, because you're super effective against him. Oh, right! Flying is good against fighting, and flying does not resist flying. I could Brave Bird. Yeah. Now, if I Brave Bird, do you think he's going to Brave Bird too, and I'll lose the exchange? No, he probably has Rock Tomb or something, but I think you're faster, so this might kill it. You think I can one-shot him? Probably. I don't know. He's... Wow! Yeah, we did. Okay. I yeah, Brave Bird's really strong. I don't think Kaluch is defensive. I think he's mostly just an attack-based... Yeah, wow. attack speed. The yeah. recoil wasn't that bad either. Mm -hmm. Head smash is like the worst of it, though. Okay. Tyrantrum. <gasps> you know that Pokemon. I do. Uh, Street Sharks would probably be okay. Or or yeah, Tyrantrum has bad Lapras special defense, right? Lapras. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That would I actually be really great. I don't know if Lapras mm -hmm. could survive a head smash, but. How about Roserade with the fairy move? It's probably not going to one-shot it. Street Sharks might be the best way to go here because okay. it can lower its attack and also do a lot of damage with Earthquake. I like the stained glass idea for the floor. I don't like that it's the lowest res thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, do I bother with a power punch or should I just go straight for Earthquake? Just go for it. Yeah... Okay, we're faster. That's good. You know what? More than I thought it would be. He's going to full restore, and maybe we can wipe out a few of those. And wow, okay. Okay, we were really winning this exchange. Let him run you out all of his full restores. If you want to. Yeah, I could actually. Good idea. There we go. I didn't even use any elixir, did I? I just kind of forgot. Nah, oh, I th you're good, though. I'm a little surprised he didn't use another full restore. Okay. Yeah. Or she. Uh, Gudra, oh, you've told me about that one. That's dragon and... Just dragon. Uh, dragon! Wow, dragon and dragon. Um, I will So he's, use... he's quad weak to dragon. <laughs> yes! Um, just ice, Flapper. I guess. Ice I would actually recommend Ty Tyrantrum here because Gudra is primarily special defensive. Okay. What's his worst move you think he has? Dragon Pulse. Mm. Gudra looks like it would be poison type. Yeah, yeah it kind of does. It's, it's because the goo is poison colored. Well, not Pokemon poison. Pokemon poison 
is purple. Pokemon Acid is green, if I remember right. Still poison, though. I mean, Acid's a poison move. Gen 3 Acid was green, but later on, I think it became uh, purplish. Aurorus? This is the ice? other fossil. It's Rock Ice. Rock Ice. Okay. Okay. Um, do Rock and Ice have anything in common? Fighting. But fighting. your strongest fighting move probably won't take it out. Uh... Do... Lapras is good for for defense in sure. this case. I don't think we're going to lose to that. I just don't... I don't feel like I have a really, really obvious choice. Yeah, Surf is going to do super effective damage all the same. Yeah, let's just use... Well, hold on. Surf and Ice Beam are the same damage, right? But Ice Beam will be resisted because it's part Ice. Right, yeah. Because I was going to say we could freeze, but no, no. Uh, it's Ice, so Surf is smarter. Crit, nice. Reflect, okay, that's fine. And we go first, so that's probably it. Full restore. Uh, well, okay. whatever. We can still well, take it out. What am I doing without a crit? Probably half damage. Ooh. Yeah. There might be a damage range going on, so it could hang on with a sliver. Yeah, but then it's likely to nice. full restore, right? Yeah. I do like that Pokemon's design, but Tyrantrum is pretty cool. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Tyrantrum. Gorgeist, Gorgeist. that sounds like a ghost type. Ghost and grass. So it's actually, you can stick in with Lapras and use Ice Beam. Yeah, I could. Plus Reflect is up, so your physical attackers won't oh, be doing the much. Oh, pumpkin thing. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, uh, Ice. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, Ice. Sorry, it looks like it's fire, but it's not fire. I got to remember that. Ouch. One shot? Hey, wow. there we go. Oh, crit, no wonder. I was gonna say, there's a bit of a level gap between us. If you want to stick in and use Parish Song, by all means. It would be really funny. <laughs> is this her last Pokemon? Oh, yeah, this is her last. Are you kidding me? Um, Tyrantrum. I'm gonna just bite head it. Head smash. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just use head smash. Besides, Gardevoir is part fairy, so your dragon po your dragon um, move won't uh, work on it. You will probably also get one shot by moon, but moon blast. But let's see. Oh no, Gardevoir has strong jaw. Head smash. Gardevoir doesn't have. By the a way. Jaw. Ooh. <gasps> it's a little taller. Mega Gardevoir. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm oh, still... Oh, you're faster. Oh, you oh. missed. Oh, you're dead. Ow. You're dead because it's a mega Pokemon. Man, I thought I was going to... Well, you it. do have Roserade, who has Sludge Bomb. Do it. I want Roserade to get the win. Roserade's the mega best. Mega Roserade. Psychic. Oh. And you're dead, maybe? Yeah. Man, it was so easy till this point. Okay, okay. For you. Yeah, for you is really hard to kill. Well, maybe not in the special category. Sucker Punch? Uh, return, actually, because Sucker Punch is just going to do neutral damage. Oh, sweet, I'm faster. Ouch. I think this might be it. Hell yeah. All right, that's it. What have you got? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, Lysander, you thought Mega Pokemon were so good? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we're nine minutes into the video and we beat the game. Well, there's a lot of credits to get through, so. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see the giant Hobo King again and he'll tell us all yeah. about that time that he... He, he, he had the big sad. The time he had the big sad and tried to destroy the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It got better. <laughs> Don't bring up Sycamore to me. We're not on speaking terms anymore. <laughs> Would you mind coming with me this way? Wh which My way? dear MDB, what is she like in love with you? <laughs> it's getting weird. No, oh, that's not safe. <laughs> oh... Oh, okay. That was weird. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Welcome.
to the Hall of Pain. <laughs> this is I, a really quiet and crappy Hall of Fame. I do like that. It's so quiet that you can hear like the echo of the button click. That's great. I like that. <laughs> I thought the game would just freak out and kept doing your footsteps. When you yeah, I was very confused for a moment. Too. It's like, wait, hold on. Emulator. <laughs> Emulator, I hardly know her. <gasps> oh! We Hall did of it! Fame! Congratulations, Talon Flame. I'm oh, sorry, I mispronounced that. Talon Flame! I like how almost none of them have nicknames, but just a couple of them do. There's something <laughs> great about that to me. The important nickname. The only one that matters is Street Sharks. I mean, come on. And then they all just rush in and kill you. <laughs> they all use their moves on us, and it's a creepypasta. <laughs> a few days later, crowds of people gathered in Luminos City to celebrate <laughs> the five defenders of the Kalos region. And to celebrate his new champion, Five. MVP. Also, gotta love whoa, those. Whoa! <laughs> I was never supposed to be seen in this resolution. Oh, nope. that's not. <laughs> oh, it's, like, it's like Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, um, five? They didn't do anything. Can you tell which characters here matter? <laughs> like, even Sycamore's assistants were uh, like cardboard cutouts. That's my other name, Sycamore. <laughs> Uh, it's like it's like a uh, Hanna Barbera cartoon where like something in the background is drawn in a different color, so you know it's gonna move. Yep. More, uh, <laughs> are you the mayor? Yeah, who gives you the authority to do this? <laughs> I thought I thought your job was just aiding and abetting a domestic. I can't use the word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they still look like they're. <laughs> Not really there. It's really hard to refer to their activities without using that word. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> there's Big Sad. For a second, I thought he wasn't, like, lurching with footsteps, and he was just, like, floating <laughs> towards me. Battle with me. <laughs> You're not even looking at me. <laughs> Wait, are we going to fight? Yep. For real? Yep. I want to know what a trainer is. Fella, there's a lot of trainers out there, and I'm a little busy with my award ceremony. I'm the champion of the region. Okay. Three Pokemon. I'm guessing they're going to Mega Evolve or some shit. Torkoal. Okay, that's really not what I thought would be the first Pokemon of Big Sad. I think <laughs> the theme... Like, his Pokemon are kind of weak, but the theming that is go that he's going for here is like really slow and steady Pokemon that take a long time to die out. So like okay. a tortoise. Oh, so probably have like a dine. Wait, no, dinosaurs are dead. <laughs> Never mind. Wait a minute. <laughs> Scr <laughs> scratch what I just said on account of it being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably dinosaurs. They're still around, right? <laughs> oh, things that live Look, here's forever. one that's still around. Nessie, obviously. <laughs> things that live forever. Dinosaurs. The first thing I say is something that's extinct. <laughs> Top ten things that are still around today. Dinosaurs. Uh, the dodo. Source. Buzzfeed.com. Uh, You're good to keep okay. battling. It's yeah, yeah, flying. sure. I uh, just ice. Oh my god, it's been a weird episode. And we're not even done with it yet. I did. So this week, just this is a this is a Thursday. It's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Um, Again. I love how on the the actual Christmas video going up for them is gonna be the last part of a uh, Mario Party session. It was a good <laughs> Mario Party session. Um, I won't I won't spoil it for anyone who hasn't watched us play Mario Party two yet, but uh, very good. Oh, by match. the way. By the way, happy 2021, everybody. This video oh, yeah. should be going up on New Year's Day. Oh my God, is it? Oh. Ne is it is next is not the Friday of the week we're recording, but the the Friday after is 
New Year's Day? I think yeah. so. It's not it New is. Year's Day, is it? Is it, it is it New Year's Day. <gasps> well, what do you know? Oh my god! Happy New Year! Hey. Happy New Year! Congratulations, everybody. You survived 2020. Uh, I'm fighting Golurk. Uh, that's Ground and Ghost. Yeah, just use Roserade. Yeah, Roserade, sure. Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, you're going to have to let me know what 2020 is like. I get the feeling it's a whole lot like tw uh, 20. You're going to have to let me know what 2021 was like because I've been here for 2020. Let past me know what uh, 2021 is like, but I kind of get the feeling it's it's uh, fucking miserable. <laughs> Still, I mean, where where I live, because Brandon's not in the province anymore, but where I live in Ontario, the current provincial plan is to go into 28 days of the harshest lockdown the day after Christmas. So, uh, yeah, January's going to be fucking miserable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel so... Yeah, he's free now. We did it. He just needed someone to kick his ass. Man, I'm so happy that I made the guy who tried to destroy the Earth smile in the end. The, the part of me that built the ultimate weapon is gone. And Suddenly, my, my dead Pokemon's back! Oh my god. Wait, didn't he revive that? Oh, he revived yeah, it, and then, and, and then, and then it thought it he was a monster. It hated the fact that, it hated the fact that uh, he took many Pokemon's lives to get yeah. it back to being alive. And what did you just do to him? You took the life of three of his Pokemon in battle. Well, they fainted. Is that like a shiny or? No, it's just an alternate form of the same Pokemon. Can I Th catch this it? This was going to be, no, this was going to be distributed uh, in back in Gen 6, but it never did get distributed, but its signature move called Light of Ruin still made it into the programming. Huh. So in randomizers, you can still use Light of Ruin, which is a really powerful fairy move that does recoil damage. I think you've told me about that in the randomizer before. Yeah, my Kecleon knew it in the Auras randomizer. So how many people do you think cried at this scene? Too many. I didn't. Uh, I laughed uproariously when it started happening. Is that similar? They're both positive I mean, emotions. It, crying. If, you, if from... you laughed, if you laughed hard enough to cry, then for, for sure. Yeah, crying with happiness and uh, <laughs> laughing your ass off are both good. I'm sorry. Were you laughing about how pixelated his Pokemon got at the end? <laughs> Just everything. He was like a, as big oh, as the like legendary a legendary Fletchling. <laughs> wow. It's like Ho-Oh from, from the first episode of Pokemon. That's a weird Pokemon to end the game on. <laughs> well, then... You started the game with, with Fletchling as well. Like it flew into your house oh. and, uh, and pecked you awake. And now we just sit here and they decided that the credits would be played over a bunch of coffee stains. <laughs> now the, the pictures will change, but the, the, the parchment will still be coffee stained. Is it okay. going to be is it going to be about the history about the Ultima weapon? Uh, so I think some of it might be, but there's also like little yes. sketches about the uh, the roller skates as well. I don't I don't suppose if I just hit that big old plus button. Nope. Nope. If you, I nope. think if you hold a you might be able to skip through some of it. No, no never mind. I'm trying okay. Look, everything. The Pokeball. Pokeballs with writing. Nope. That's fine. We can let the credits play. I just worry that I'm not going to have enough. Uh, yeah, I'm just worried that that uh, the episode is going to go super long because we'll get credits and then we'll probably like talk with her mom a bit and maybe sick no, more think, will give us this, a post game quest. I think after this, the uh, the game just boots you back to the main menu, so we can just end it at the main menu if you want to. We could. We'll see how the how the time is, because we're like 19 minutes in. It's an awkward time nice. to end. Yeah, the credits won't last too, too long. I was going to say, what does everybody think of the game? But I guess you guys have already beaten it before. What did you guys think it. of the game again? I enjoyed it. There were so many parts that I didn't remember, and it... And I wanted there to be more cool Pokemon that weren't like ground and rock type. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just a lot of fairies. So I think overall, I really liked this one. Uh, the whole, uh, the new Pokemon for the most part, I generally like. Um, there's some lame ones, definitely, but whatever. There's lame ones in every generation. Um, the battle system of being like 3D, a little bit more Pokemon Stadium-ish. Less animations, obviously. 
Um, I thought that looked really good. I thought it was much better than how it looked in five, where it was like animated sprites. I always kind of thought the animated sprites looked crap. Um, so Gen 4 and 6 both did that better than 5, if you ask me. It's mostly just because of an awkward gap in technology, though. They were trying something new. Um, I don't know. I, I thought the areas were a little bit unmemorable. There was, like, a few memorable yeah. areas. Mm -hmm. Um, I think part of that might have been that the camera was really zoomed in, and it's just kind of how I think. Um, yeah, you couldn't, the you couldn't really take more. in a lot of it. Yeah, I couldn't see much at once, and because, you know, I have aphantasia, I can't picture things in my head, I can't really piece it together super well unless I can really stand back and see the greater picture. Um, maybe if I looked at more of the routes, like, maps of them. If I looked at maps of the routes, maybe I could get more of a feel for them, but I kind of felt like the camera was too zoomed in. That's a minor problem, though. The music was mostly really good. Um, Pokemon always has good music, though. And I don't know. I thought the pace of the game was really good. I didn't feel the need to grind super heavily, even though I wasn't playing super optimally or anything. I'm obviously an experienced, um, an experienced Pokemon player. Enough that AI enemies, you know, I, I'm not too stupid with fighting them. I say as I try to use poison on steel types routinely. Uh, fighting on a ghost type. <laughs> fighting on a ghost type, like last episode. Um... But, you know, overall, I, I think that was really fun. I could actually see that being a really great first Pokemon game for somebody, too. Like, that's a good place to enter the series. Um, but now the question on people's minds, how did you like the plot and the characters? I made fun of it most of the way through. Um, it's not necessarily because it's, like, bad writing or anything. No, it, it's for, like, 10-year-olds. And so naturally, I'm I'm gonna pick it apart like a smarmy asshole because that's how I am. Uh, mm. I'm sure if I was ten, I'd be perfectly fine with it. But I honestly barely would pay attention to it just because it's not. Pokemon games don't have the kind of plot that interests me personally. It's just that's just my own personal preference. I've never really thought a Pokemon game is bad because of a plot that I wasn't into. I mean, Gen One of Pokemon, the plot is basically just become the very best that there ever was. And that's what I like. I like that they kept the scope small. You're not saving the world. You literally are just trying to be the Pokemon champion. I've always been a fan of that. I've always thought it was kind of dumb that you need to save the world and then go beat the eighth gym. It feels kind of <laughs> meaningless at that point. That, that's that been happening for quite a few games now. Even in Gen yeah. 3, it did that. And I thought it was dumb in Gen 3 as well. But that's just my personal taste. So other people are totally into that stuff, so... I'm not going to go saying the plot's bad. Um, the dialogue could have been better, but I understand that they also have a ton of dialogue to write, and it also needs to be at, like, a fourth grade reading level. So what are you going to do? Um, so I don't want to critique the plot too hard just because it's it's a kid's game in terms of the plot, at least. It's, it's for everybody in the gameplay. It's for kids in the plot for the most part. So what about the I don't big know. sad? What about big what sad? About the big sad. Big sad was so bafflingly stupid that I'm probably gonna be making fun of it for years. Like it's what about it's the, the villain Lysander. I mean, sorry, the great man Lysander. I thought you were I think you you meant to say the anti-hero. The anti-hero Lysander. So you know what? This interest, series this series alone has made me like him just because of how doofy and dummy he is. Just because it's funny, basically. Yeah. 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 He calls you every two seconds to tell you about mega evolutions for no reason. And then he's like, I'm the villain. And you're like, yeah. no shit, you're the villain. Oh, it's so great. There's... I've been playing the whole game. You've been the villain the whole time. And I've known from the start. I feel like the subtext of the... Um... The, the subtext of the evil villain plots and everything going on around that in this game are funnier than in any other Pokemon game I've played. Like, yeah. just, just that Sycamore won't stop telling you, this Lysander dude is a great dude. And, and then, like, every 10 seconds, he's just calling 10-year-olds to be like, Mega evolution, mega evolution, mega evolution, mega evolution. Then after some completely Team random Flare, point, Team Flare, Team Flare, mega evolution. Yeah, 
After some completely arbitrary point in time, he just calls every trainer on Earth and goes, okay, so I'm just gonna destroy all of Earth now and all of Pokemon. And if you're not in Team Flare, then you're fucked. And if you're in, in Team Flare, then I guess you're fine. And people use Pokemon as weapons. So I'm gonna use this Pokemon as a weapon and and that's just that now. And Professor Sycamore, I guess, was just sitting in his lab. He got the call. He he watched the video like everybody else. And he's just like, oh, well, that's a bummer. I guess I'll just leave those children to deal with it. And I guess there's no police officers that are trainers. Or else they would have known. There are. There are. And we know that there are. Because because Officer Jenny and her Squirtle Squad? Well, not even just from the anime. Like, it's... Officer Jenny's canonical in the games. Yeah, she was in Pokemon Yellow. Which was a, a Gen 1 remake of the anime. Fair. I guess I shouldn't use that. Well, that's not the end of the series, everybody. That was the last episode of the main plot, but I wouldn't mind doing some post-game. I want to explore around a little... Uh, Maybe see a few Pokemon I didn't see before. Maybe maybe see a few legendaries. Probably won't bother catching them. I maybe I'll try just because it's cool. But just to, to complete the collection. <laughs> yeah, like I there's no real point because it's not like I'm gonna be using the legendaries. But I'd like to see them just to see what I think of the design. Uh, but I hope everybody's having a happy new year. There's also a small plot going on after um, after a little while. Um, it's like episodic, kinda. You just go to Lumio mm -hmm. City, go through like a bunch of steps, and then engage in that plot. Okay. All right. Well, if there's something to do like that, then we can do that. But as always, you can tune in next week for some more Mario Party before we get back into more Pokemon X. And for when this Let's Play is done, uh, I do want to always have a Pokemon one going on if possible, because you guys seem to like that. And so many of you have started watching the other Let's Plays through the Pokemon ones, so it seems like it's a good enough way to get the foot in the door on that. Um, please so... Please say Mystery Dungeon, please say Mystery Dungeon, please say Mystery Dungeon. So I was thinking for the next one, maybe we would do Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, because I've been wanting to... I don't know much about it. I had seen bits and pieces of it here and there over the years, and it always looked cool as hell. Uh, I, <laughs> I voice acted a little bit for one guy's Let's Play of it. Uh, forever ago, but I've never actually played the game. I have always been told that Pokemon Mystery, was it Pokemon Rescue Team Blue or something? Yep, is what it's that's called? the original DS one. People always say that that is the best one, so that is what I'm going to try and play on the show. It'll have What a Geek and Brandon, we'll have a great time, it'll be awesome. Expect to see that in, I don't know, uh, few weeks because it'll we'll probably do like one or two more weeks of Pokemon X and then we can then we can start on Mystery Dungeon. And of course every other week we do some Mario Party because it's just been awesome. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope everybody had a happy new year and your Christmas didn't suck too hard. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya. Yay! We did the thing! Yay! Now, now I'm gonna go back to working on Christmas! <laughs> Hooray! Yeah.